Hello! Somebody sent me some Garbage Pail Kids stickers, which is very kind of them. And they're not the ones you can actually buy in the shops these days. They're ones from the original series from 1985. Can you flipping believe it? For those of you who are not familiar with Garbage Pail Kids, they are a sort of bizarre piss take of Cabbage Patch dolls or Cabbage... No, they were called Cabbage Patch Kids when they sort of really grotesquely mutant baby dolls, which were inexplicably massively popular in the mid-80s. And so, um, I think it was cartoonist Art Spiegelman who went on to do um, Mouse, which is like a really harrowing account of his father's um, experiences in Auschwitz. So, uh, slightly strange career move for him there. Anyway, yes, he came up with Garbage Pail Kids, the idea being they're really grotesque things, a sort of dark mirror held up to the Cabbage Patch Kids themselves. I don't know what a modern equivalent would be, sort of an evil version of My Little Pony or something. Anyway, they got some infamy because some of them are a bit unpleasant and many of them were banned in schools for various reasons or other. But the main thing was you could wander down to the shops, I can remember doing it from the shop at the road, and buy these and they came with a stick of bubble gum, which wasn't very nice if I remember. And probably isn't very nice now because of course these are astonishingly old. Um, in fact, we can specifically say, yes, uh, produced in Ireland in 1985. Well, the copyright is 1985. I would have said, um, hmm, does it have a date on it? This sort of thing it probably doesn't, actually. No, it doesn't. Mm, this could be from 86, 87. We can suffice to say this is probably 25 years old, which is quite amazing. I mean, we had three of them. Unbelievable. Unfortunately, of course, the bubble gum is still in it. I'm not sure what 25-year-old bubble gum is going to be like. I remember it was dry and nasty at the time. Anyway, let's have a look. Like a time capsule or something. I hope it's some good ones. Ah, I can't open it. This is how it's remained sealed for 25 years. Oh man, I've forgotten. It's got like stuff growing on it or something. Hmm, we'll come back to that. I'd forgotten you got on the backs of them these strange little award things to take the mickey out of people. Anyway, here are the kids. And yes, before anyone mentions, there was a film made of the Garbage Pail Kids and it is considered one of the worst films ever made. There's a reason for that. It's one of the worst films ever made. Right, Garbage Pail Kids. It's Mean Dean. He's got some guns. He's got some very impractical boots with spikes on the soles. And he's about to explode things, probably himself, because he looks like a complete maniac and a bit Mad Maxi. Swell Mel. Hooray! I like a bit of homophobia with my children's um, characters. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. We've got somebody being a bit transvestite -y. Either that, or it's a woman called Mel who has a very unfortunate problem with facial hair. And Mad Mike. Yep, there's a lot of just sort of angry people brandishing weapons in this set. He's like Conan the Barbarian, only exactly the same. Not a very good name there, Mad Mike. I wonder what the other was. Because uh, there were actually two versions of each sticker, and they had a, just a different name on the bottom, which was a bit of a rip-off. But hey, we lived with it. So what's on the back? Slob Award. Awarded to so-and-so. You have a neck like a camel. It goes seven days without water. You always take off your shoes before putting your feet on the table. You'd give a friend the shirt off your back. But who wants a dirty shirt? Yes. Weak jokes below something to insult your friends with. Clumsy Award for being a walking disaster area. Look, he has spilled many cakes. And the Zero Award. You spent two weeks in a revolving door looking for the doorknob. You think bacteria is the rear entrance to a cafeteria. You had an IQ of minus 10 when you entered high school. Ten years passed, but you didn't. Signed by Miss Pretty Stupid. Yeah. Hmm. Zero. Well, that seems to be unfair. Is it zero? Basically implying people are worthless. So, the bubble gum. It's a bit dry now. I can't imagine why. Um, yeah, so this is what 25-year-old uh, stickery bubble gum looks like. Hmm. Doesn't appear to be anything inside. There are some worrying dark spots on it. I suppose we'd better eat it and see what it's like, really. Mmm. It's very dry. And very hard. Mmm. Um, it kind of tastes of rot. Yeah, not really nice. It doesn't seem to be forming uh, any kind of bubble gum in the mouth. It's just turned to dust. Possibly toxic dust. Right. I'm going to have to go and spit this out before I continue because it's not actually turning into bubble gum at all. It's just turning into dusty poison. Back in a second. <coughs> Yum, which is a word that has no relevance here. Yeah, if we've learned something today, it's don't stick 25-year-old bubblegum in your mouth, because whatever makes it bubblegum has long since passed into the ether. If you want to see what I spat out, it was this. 
If you don't want to see what I spat out too freaking late, I've already put it up. Right, let's see what's in the others and not try the bubble gum. We have. Thanks for it. Oh dear. That one's sort of shattered. Junk food John. He's been eating sweets and his two only teeth have rotted away to nothing. But still, he has more teeth than most of these kids seem to have because they don't draw them with them usually. Slimy Sam. Well, he has got a couple of teeth as he is some sort of reptilian monster who is munching on a fly. Good for him. And I love mommy, says his bib. Mm. And Itchy Mickey. Ah, this is one of my favourite ones from back in the day because it's just so grotesque. He's got this sort of weird, inanimate, dead look in his eyes and basically they're... they're well, he's full of spiders. <laughs> yeah. What a concept, especially for a kid's thing. Yeah, there's been a cut in his leg and just millions of spiders have come out. Either that or there are just loads of spiders and one happens to have gone and a cut in his leg. But hey, that seems like too much of a coincidence for me. On the back we've got a permit to use the phone. And apparently keep people waiting for a long time. A lot of yellow and dead looking people. We've got... Disgusting Eater Licence. Yay! And Lateness Award. Lotta excuses. <laughs> oh dearie me, I'm not reading those bits in the middle, they're too similar to cracker jokes. Right, and last one. Wow. It's been quite a thing, this. I've never expected to see any of these unopened again. I probably should have kept an open pack and sold them or something. But no, I've opened them. Licence to take over the TV set, Clumsy Award again, and Slob Award again. But what other stickers? Oh. Hey, New Wave Dave, look at him, he's some sort of crazy 80s punk rocker type, spraying on the walls like a little bastard. Um, this has reminded me, what was that song a few years ago that went, I wish I was a punk rocker with flowers in my hair? That always really annoyed me because it showed a basic, and well, in fact total lack of knowledge of what the hell a punk rocker was. They got confused with the hippies. If you had flour in your hair near a punk, you'd probably get a knife up your schnoz. And Mean Dean again. Bloody hell! Even 30 years on, we're getting um, <laughs> lots of repetition. Well, about 25 years on. Let's not overblow this stuff. Yeah, and there's loads of dry bubblegum, so um, if you fancy trying some of that, don't. And um, interestingly, it's also sent these from the same time. A Garbage Pail Kids poster. Stick them up. One poster. So, presumably it's a poster-size version or something. No, it isn't, because actually there's a checklist on the back which shows they have uh, specific names. I had no idea these existed. Printed in the USA, so rather than being um, made in Ireland locally, these were actually shipped over. So what's inside? I'm intrigued by this. Oh my goodness, it really is a fold-out big poster. Wow! To go with my collection of 80s posters, which I have yet to start. Um, Oh my goodness. Ah, now this is interesting. I think we may have to play with cameras here. Wait for it. Yep. Garbage Pail Kids Sugar Crusted Sewage. See stomach pump offer on back. Oh, -ho! and look, there's the uh, Rice crispy Elves having a run out of it. What are they called? Snap, Crackle and Pop. That's it. But they're now called Ech, Yuck and Fooey. All artificial provides eight awful body odours. And there's dead rats poking out the top. I don't think you can see that there, actually. There we are. That's quite an interesting thing. It's number three of 18. Hmm. Um, what's interesting about it is before they made Garbage Pail Kids, the same people did something called Wacky Packages. I don't know if they ever came out in the UK, but uh, is there any, the reason I'm so well read on Garbage Pail Kids kids are. They released a book, a really nice little hardback book about a year ago that um, collates all the different stickers and it's really quite an interesting um, time capsule of the era. But hey, it's like an art thing. Let's pretend it's art. That'll do. Um, yeah, that's quite interesting. I'll tell you what, actually, I'll stick a link to the book in Amazon below if you want to have a look at it. It's very good. What I particularly like about it is the front cover has been produced in um, bubblegum packaging-like uh, dust jacket on it, which is very clever. Anyway, I want to see what's in the last one. Oh, intriguing. I hope it's not the same poster again. That would be slightly uh, upsetting. I also just noticed, instead of net weight on it, it says knit wit. Oh, right. Yeah, it's a different one. We have... Oh my goodness. Beauty is only skin deep. Says, uh, yeah, this kind of strange... Hairy, spotty person 
who's uh, putting on some makeup very badly. Can you make that out there? And also they've done the old Salvador Dali thing of making it look like it forms a big skull, which is jolly, and you've got the crossbones at the bottom. And, yeah, what's going on? Ah, there's body parts in the uh, Welsh dresser there. No, the chest of drawers. Welsh dresser, that's the thing you put um, plates on, isn't it? How bizarre. And he's apparently ki ah, he's killed somebody with an axe, dismembered them and put them in there. And this person had one, two, three, four, five... Six fingers on one hand. Maybe that's why she killed him. Who knows? Bit of a Lizzie Borden thing going on there. Anyway, that be garbage pail kids and posters and yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try and forget that, possibly with a lot of booze.